Here's your Alabama WX weather video briefing for this Thursday, the 28th of December. James, of course, is on vacation, so we're on our one-a-day schedule this week. No one can keep up with that, Iron Man. Uh, but as we record this video uh, l early, early, early on Thursday morning, about uh, 3.45, just before 4 a.m., here's the radar uh, across the uh, southeastern quarter of the United States, uh, extending up into the Ohio Valley a little bit. Um, our upper level low is somewhere there in Missouri, uh, kind of trying to open up into a trough, but we've got a decent amount of snow um, on the north side of that system. Uh, snowing right now in St. Louis, back across uh, parts of uh, southern Illinois. Some rain on the northern side of it. Uh, you can really see the dynamic cooling. Uh, a little bit of snow over there on the western side of uh, Missouri, also at Kansas City. Uh, temperatures uh, through that region in the 30s, uh, low and middle 30s. Here in Alabama, temperatures are in the middle 30s, upper 30s. Uh, still falling a little bit toward those morning lows. They're going to be uh, fairly close to freezing uh, through the area. Uh, but that's what the uh, radar looks like at, um, at this hour. Now, this is what the uh, upper air pattern looks like across North America. There's that system um, really showing up right there, southern Illinois, Indiana, um, into west or eastern Missouri. That system um, has a pretty strong upper level disturbance that's going to be swinging around. You see it there. Uh, this is Friday morning, uh, tomorrow morning, showing that uh, upper level disturbance right over Alabama. That's where some of the coldest temperatures will be aloft, and that may permit some wintry precipitation, at least some mixing of snow with rain. This system, though, will finally begin to move on out. It's been with us all week. Uh, we've got a shortwave trough moving through the Great Lakes, but it's damping out, weakening. So is the system that will be moving through here on Monday. We'll see how that's going to affect us. A couple of systems in a row. System moving out of the southwest. Again, it's sort of running out of steam as it moves uh, over the south, but continues to reinforce that troughiness. And uh, probably the blockbuster storm uh, of the time, uh, you know, maybe that one right there on Monday the 7th. Certainly this one's going to be uh, something we're going to deal with. That's probably going to be the blockbuster right there. Coming through Texas, taking on a negative tilt. Uh, another upper low over Missouri. Uh, seems to be a trend. And that's uh, out at the end of the voodoo period. That system's moving rapidly off to the northeast, though. Now, let's tell the story about what to expect over the next, uh, you know, 24 hours. Because that's what people want to know about. Um, you know, what is the snow potential going to be? Um, this is 12Z uh, or 6 a.m. Uh, this morning, Thursday, the 28th, uh, showing uh, that band of snow there over so southern Indiana, southern Illinois, uh, some snow showers mixed with rain there over southwestern Missouri. So as we go through time, 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock, we're still fairly sunny across Alabama. Uh, temperatures are going to be struggling to get out of the out of the fifties or out of the forties, though. I think we'll call for about forty-eight in Birmingham, uh, middle forties over North Alabama, some lower fifties to the south. Uh, that cloudiness will be increasing though as we go through the afternoon hours, and it should quickly cloud over by dark. Now, radars are going to start showing some uh, light rain into northwest Alabama. Uh, this right here would be 4 p.m., 22Z, showing uh, some showers over northwest there in Alabama. They're um, uh, not really getting a good foothold. The atmosphere pretty dry. Uh, but uh, another band will move into Alabama sometime. It uh, looks like probably right there between 10 p.m. and midnight. And you can tell by the colors there. The blue is snow. So this is a mixed snow and rain line moving into northwest Alabama there about 11, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, midnight tonight and uh, progressing uh, on to the southeast. Temperatures tonight are going to be in the 30s uh, across the entire area. As a matter of fact, probably areas um, uh, north of Clanton are going to be below freezing. So could there be some very light accumulations? Eh, uh, probably over northeast Alabama, higher elevations. You can see as we start to move toward 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, we've still got a few um, patches of light uh, light rain mixed with light snow. Some heavier snow moving into western Tennessee, the Missouri Beta Hill, and uh, into northeastern Arkansas as we get into early Friday morning. Some of those uh, snow showers may reach as far south as um, uh, parts of Clay and Randolph counties there. 
but you see the system uh, beginning to weaken a little bit as we get into um, the late morning hours. This is uh, at 10 a.m. Some snow showers over northwest Alabama, some snow showers over the Cumberland Plateau in Tennessee. They're continuing into Alabama into the early afternoon. And, and you say, well, it's getting warmer. Why would there still be snow? Well, that's the dynamic processes that are at work in an upper low. Uh, at its core, it is a cold core system. And so uh, it's bringing its own cold air with it. And the precipitation is able to develop sort of a feedback mechanism and continue to fall as snow. Now, this is, we're getting toward dark on Friday, still a few snow showers around. See, up here in Tennessee, it's a, kind of become a rain over the northwestern parts, but another heavier band of snow tries to work its way down into Alabama. It just doesn't have much moisture to work with. We get out to the end of the period on the HRRR, which is midnight Friday night. Hey, and some still, a few snow showers showing up, uh, perhaps mixed with light rain over north Alabama. Now, these are accumulations. Um, as you can see, the rain is going to be pretty light, not really you know, expecting very much of anything at all. Uh, no freezing rain. Uh, you see some, uh, you know, very small trace amounts of snow in that lower left panel uh, over north and northeastern Alabama. Uh, you know, some of the uh, lucky spots, especially in the higher elevations of east Alabama, could see, uh, you know, light dusting. Um, and um, no real sleet expected with this system either. Now let's go to our global model and talk about it. Uh, does it see the snow potential uh, for tonight and Friday? Sort of. This is the 0Z run from tonight at 6 p.m. You can see there Friday evening it's got um, you know a little bit of snow in the North Alabama. Uh, nothing much to write home about. It is all out of here by Saturday. Uh, I think the skies will be, uh, you know, a little bit slow to clear probably on Saturday. We'll see how those go, um, you know, as we go, as we go through time. Um, and we'll be, we'll be keeping a very close eye on that, um, uh, because, you know, you just, you just do and um, no, what I wanted to look at real quick is, you know, what I'm calling for on Saturday. And that's clouds to hang kind of tough. Uh, some sun working in by afternoon. Temperatures generally in the 40s. Might reach 50 at Montgomery. Um, now we get into New Year's Eve. Uh, of course, lots of people have activities planned, celebrations uh, for that night. We're dry during the day. But the uh, system quick, quickly spins up there over the Arkalitex. And uh, that moves into Alabama there, as you can see, after midnight uh, on Sunday night. So that means the rain is arriving well after your celebrations will be over, uh, whatever you got going on. Uh, so as you're sleeping in on uh, New Year's Day, uh, perhaps getting ready to watch some bowl games, maybe uh, have a little bit of uh, Black Eyed Peas, some Hoppin' John possibly, some uh, greens maybe uh, for a prosperous uh, 2024 but uh, you see that a fairly good shield of rain moves across Alabama uh, there during the day on Monday the 1st. Um, it begins to diminish during the afternoon. It's not quite out of here until around midnight. There's our next upper low sitting right there. Highs on uh, Sunday probably be around 55. Overnight lows on Monday night are going to get into the 30s. So when you're uh, ringing in the new year your temperature is going to be probably uh in the uh, 40 degree 37 38 degree range uh we'll kind of keep an eye on that now as we um kind of jet on out into uh 2024 this is tuesday the second it's dry across alabama high pressure is in charge by the third uh storm system moving along the gulf coast and we see as we progress through time uh, it keeps most of its rainfall there uh, it kind of loses its impetus runs into that blocking to the east but we remain dry uh you know through wednesday thursday friday at least for north and central alabama high pressure continues to be in charge another system probably a stronger system this time associated with that next to the last disturbance we saw i uh, got a surface low there south of new orleans uh, and it's spreading rain uh, well up into Alabama. That surface low crosses the southeastern part of the state on Sunday the 7th. And uh, we've got pretty good rains. Now, you know, if, if the air were colder at this point, snow could be a problem. And some of the earlier runs of the GFS did show that. Uh, you know, will they come back? I don't know. 
Looks like this one's an all-wet system, though. It's all liquid precipitation. Uh, moving way on out into voodoo territory, Monday the 8th, um, big storm system getting organized out west. We're dry here in Alabama. Tuesday uh, the 9th, more of the same. Here comes that system on Wednesday the 10th. You see rain spreading into Alabama, some freezing rain there uh, for northwestern Tennessee with a little bit of snow in Kentucky. Uh, that's not a good look there for northern Mississippi um, and portions of uh, uh, middle Tennessee. We certainly don't want to see an ice storm, and it's really in full force there uh, by midnight on Thursday the 11th, early early morning. Uh, but it's beginning to lift into Tennessee and, and kind of concerning. Rain continues here in Alabama. Here comes that second blockbuster, or, or at least the second part of this dynamic duo. Got some pretty heavy rain, um, pretty heavy snows there. Uh, southern Kansas, uh, Oklahoma, into northern Texas with a wide area of sleet there. Arkansas under the gun for freezing rain on that Thursday the 11th. Um, and that, that band of freezing rain moves up into uh, southeastern Missouri, uh, into um, central and southern uh, Illinois. And we've got a surface low there in west Alabama. Now, on the back side, that cold air rushes in. Uh, some snow forms on the back side of it over uh, parts of western Tennessee, uh, parts of northern Mississippi. Uh, but you can see as it gets into Alabama, it sort of peters out as that uh, is the best moisture lifts off to the north. Now, this is a very uh, plausible scenario. We could see a change over to snow on the back side of that system. We're going to need to see some more model runs for clarity. You know how it goes. The, the uh, model runs will not even show this at all tomorrow. Now, these are um, rainfall amounts off the GFS over the, over the next uh, uh, over two weeks, 16 days, 384 hours, showing um, decent rainfall amounts for all the area. Ranging from about 2.10 inches up in the shoals to around 3.3 inches uh, there around Haleville. Uh, parts of Walker County, Jasper, checking in with 5.68 inches. That wouldn't be bad. How about um, 7.62 inches at Pell City? That will take two. Uh, five inches at Birmingham, six inches at Calera. Uh, you get down there, though, around Montgomery, 10 inches of rain. Uh, nine in Tuskegee, but there along the I-85 corridor, um, some pretty heavy rainfall amounts. So that would be music uh, to our drought-stricken ears. Of course, we don't need any flooding, that's for sure. Uh, these temperatures off the National Blender Models, putting it all in one place. You can see it all, and it's just chilly. Uh, 48 today, 40s uh, tomorrow and Saturday. We uh, briefly warm up on Sunday, but uh, the mercury puts its head down uh, back in the foxhole, and we're stuck in that uh, 49 to 52 range all the way through January. Seventh overnight lows uh, will be running in the uh, lower to middle 30s uh, for the most part. I don't know if I have any more information. Nope, that's it for that. Let's, uh, let's take it out of here with the Weather Brains placard. The uh, Hollywood Squares look there. Might have some exciting information on a new guest panelist coming up. Our folks are talking to their folks, and uh, we might just fill in that middle square, the one that Paul Lind used to uh, always occupy on the old Hollywood Squares back when I was a kid. Well, that's your weather video for this 28th of December. going to be interesting to watch, maybe up late tonight, uh, checking out uh, a few snowflake reports. I don't think I mentioned this, but... Uh, probably no accumulations and no significant impacts expected, so it'll just be fun to watch. Uh, and I know a lot of folks will be excited just at the at the sound or the or the news that there might be some snowflakes. And certainly, if they get to see any, if we get any uh, light light accumulations, it'll just be a bonus. I'll have notes on the blog, a uh, complete look uh, update on the forecast coming up at noon. Thanks to Ryan Stennett. I'll be uh, updating you throughout the afternoon and evening hours tonight as we get into our little weather event. And um, I'll be reminding you, as I always do, to keep an eye to the sky because we're going to have something fun to look at. <laughs>